I've been working with a travel capsule for the majority of this year, and even though it's comprised of mostly neutrals and basics, I have found a couple of ways to keep it feeling fresh and interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I have also added a few pieces throughout my travels along the way, but the whole point is that contrary to what the internet or like a quick Pinterest search might tell you, a travel capsule does not have to be full of neutrals and basics and just totally unfun and boring. In fact, I I personally think when we're traveling, it's even more important to make sure that the clothes we have with us are comfortable and are a true expression of ourselves and our personality. Colors that make us happy and textures that make us feel, you know, maybe a bit more cozy and accessories that feel personal and symbolize our personality or make us feel closer to home. These are all a big part of today's video and that's why I am so excited to partner with Monica Vinader today. Monica Vinader is a jewelry company with a slow fashion focus. So I'll be sharing some of the pieces of theirs that I've had for a little while now, so you might recognize them. And I'll also be sharing some pieces from their newest collection, which is a collaboration with stylist Kate Young. I've been a fan of Kate Young for a very long time, and this collection is amazing. It is, I find, a perfect marriage between what I love about Monica Vinader, which is excellent craftsmanship, their use of 100% recycled sterling silver and 18 karat gold verme, with Kate Young's really cool, super elegant and minimal vibe. My favorite items from the collection, which I'm wearing right now, are the gemstone small hoop earrings featuring black onyx and the gemstone tennis necklace with lemon quartz. All of Monica Vinader's gemstones pearls and diamonds are ethically sourced. Because these pieces are so versatile to style and that's one of the reasons why I love them so much, you'll see me styling them with previously borrowed pieces from some of my other Monica Vinader collaborations as well as my vintage heirloom pieces and I love how the two styles mix really beautifully together. I will leave details of everything that I'm featuring in today's video in the description box below as well as Monica Vinader's sustainability info and I also have a discount code for you. So if you do have a gap in your jewelry collection or if you'd like to bookmark something for later, you can always do so. It's all in the description box. So let's uh, jump on it. My first tip isn't necessarily like a styling tip, but I think it is a game changer when it comes to building your travel capsule. And of course, just coming up with cool looks in general. And that is to plan early and start your packing process as early as possible, maybe one to two weeks in advance. This gives you the opportunity to actually get creative with the pieces in your capsule. And you might not want to spend time playing dress up and figuring out all the different combinations once you're actually at your destination. If, as you're putting your outfits together, you have time, snap a quick photo of yourself in the mirror. That way you've got a little lookbook to pull ideas from when you are traveling and you're on the go. If it's available to you, once you've chosen your travel capsule, keep them on a rack or somewhere separate from your regular closet. And I like to keep mine somewhere visible. So that way, you know, in the weeks that are leading up to your trip, you can kind of ruminate, you can see all of the common themes, whether it's like a common color palette or common textures. And as you do that, you can come up with even more ways to wear that travel capsule. Doing this also gives you the opportunity to just tweak it ever so slightly. If your mood is changing as you're leading up to it, or if the weather or some of your activities or destinations change. Doing all of this sets you up with two really important things when it comes comes to being confident in what you're wearing and just getting creative with what you have. Number one, confidence. Because you've tried everything on, because you've sat with it for a couple of weeks and you've made whatever tweaks you have to, you'll be much more confident once you arrive at your destination that what you're wearing is something you feel good in and that feels a little bit more styled and thoughtful. The second is creativity. You're already used to putting these clothes together and mixing and matching, and I truly believe that creativity is one of the foundations of slow fashion and asserting your own style. Some of my hardest working items in my travel capsule are actually the ones with a little bit of color, an interesting texture, or a really cool print. If your travel capsule is neutral, depending on how long you're going for, I would make sure to have at least one item that has a fun print with colors that you like to wear. This can be a scarf, a top, whatever. If you wanna bring two prints or several prints, just make sure that there's 
that grounding color between all of them and that they are at a different scale so that they can be worn together. Next, I would make sure there's one item in a standout color that is also present in one of your prints. So again, this could be a scarf, a top, a pair of pants, or a dress, but that cohesiveness will really help mix and match and keep your whole capsule feeling interesting, but still like there's a nice kind of theme and through line for it. This can also be from jewelry. And because jewelry is such a great space saver, you can bring a couple of different colors within your jewelry and like mix them and layer them up like I've done with these two Monica Vinader necklaces. I think it feels so fresh. It works with all of my neutrals and really punches it up a little bit. And what I love especially about this is layering colorful jewelry is a very low effort, very easy, but highly impactful styling trick. Finally, I would make sure to bring one to two items in an interesting or different texture. Whether it's something shiny and patent, I'm very boring, so to me, denim is an interesting texture that provides some nice contrast with, you know, leather accessories or silk tops and things like that. So again, this is going to be totally up to you, but an interesting texture either in your neutrals, like if you want to go easy, I would stick to interesting textures in a neutral color so that you don't have to worry too, too much about mixing and matching. But if you've got an interesting texture, like a patent in a color that is present in some of your prints, you can really create some standout looks. And similar to my last point, jewelry can provide texture too. I love wearing my Monica Vinader Keshi pearl pendants, especially when I'm wearing more structured things like my button up shirts or a blazer. I think they add a really nice sort of soft and organic feel and help me bring in that more romantic vibe when I want to add it to my very classic and minimal pieces. Now, if your capsule is on that vibrant, colorful, busy and maximal end of things, I would do almost the opposite. I would make sure you've got at least one neutral print. I find animal prints and things like polka dots and stripes work really well for this. They often are easy to find in neutral colors. And in my opinion, an animal print is a neutral. So definitely include one of those because it can ground some of your other vibrant colors. I would bring two pairs of neutral shoes, one in a lighter, maybe a skin tone color so that it literally goes with everything and another to cover the darker end of your travel capsule spectrum. So whether it's black or navy or brown, that way with those two shoes, you can wear them with every kind of color, whether it's dark or light in your capsule. If you can, I would also make sure that they have two different functionalities. I would also pack one or two, again, depending on how long you're going for, neutral separates. I say separates because these are easy to just kind of add on if you need that one grounding piece in your outfit. If you're at a loss with other ways to sort of zhuzh up your travel capsule and you've already done the colors and the prints and everything, something else that I like to do to inject a little bit of that freshness is get inspiration from my final destination. I've done a video all about sort of, you know, dressing for different types of destinations. I actually have two of those. I will leave them up here for you. But I love to do this not only because it helps see my closet differently, but it also helps me fit in perhaps a little bit more once I get to my destination while still feeling like myself. My final tip is to vary your outfit formula using two elements of style. I've talked about outfit formulas before and why I love them so much. I'll leave a video up here for you if you're not familiar with that concept. But I think outfit formulas are a game changer when it comes to travel. The two elements of style that I like to focus on the most because they have the sort of lowest effort but highest visual impact are working with color and silhouette. Here's the current color palette for my travel capsule. You can see it's a lot of neutrals, black, white are the two biggest, camel or tan, lots of navy and baby blue. And yes, I have injected a couple of other little colors in there as well, but for the most part, it's these neutrals. Two of my favorite outfit formulas are a pair of jeans and a medium weight sweater, plus an interesting shoe, or when it's warmer or like in that transition period, a pair of shorts, 
plus a medium weight sweater and again a really interesting or like ironic kind of shoe. So now with those sweaters that are varying in both color and silhouette I have so many more options than if I were to have just brought the same style of sweater in a different color palette. A really integral base piece then was that medium weight sweater and I brought a couple of them in varying colors and silhouettes. That way across all of the spectrum light to dark I have so many different options that feel very different because the shape is different, they sit differently, they give a completely different vibe, and I'm hitting sort of light to dark. So it can really change depending on my mood. And all I have to do is swap out those pieces with my jeans and different shoes for those other looks. With the denim, because I knew I wanted a more seasonless wash, because it has to work through a long amount of time, I knew that my only variants could be silhouette. So I brought two different silhouettes of denim, a straight leg and a nice high-waisted wide leg. I know because denim, it's a neutral, it's got an interesting texture, it's gonna work with all of the different colors, but because I've got those two varying silhouettes, it completely changes up the mood, the vibe, and the shape of an entire look. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it helpful, especially if you've got some travel coming up. A huge thank you again to Monica Vinader for sponsoring today's video. Again, I've got that discount code for you. I will leave it in the description box below as well as links and more information on what I wore today and on Monica Vinader's sustainability program. If you liked this video or if you learned something new, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and don't forget I've got those tickets on sale for my Shop Your Closet workshop coming up on September 24th at 1 p.m. EST. Okay, that's it for me. Ciao!